Welcome to Guild Launch. This is a quick five minute tutorial on basic site operation. We're going to cover three things. We're going to cover editing widgets, editing your primary nav, and a quick lightning fast tutorial of the admin functionality. We're not going to cover everything here. There is a wealth of functionality available. But we are going to hit on the most used functionality and we're going to do it in the remaining four minutes and 30 seconds. So hang on to your hats. Uh, widget configuration is all done here on the site. It's done in a live preview mode with editing options available right on the site. Uh, you no longer have to go anywhere other than sitting on your site to add, remove, and configure widgets. The first step is the usage of the admin panel. The admin panel is only shown to users who can configure widgets and it has two modes currently. Those are configure widgets and preview. Preview mode shows the site more or less how a regular user sees it. Configuring widgets gives you options for moving widgets, configuring widgets, deleting widgets, and uh, reorganizing them. So, the first thing we can do is we can, we'll add a calendar widget over here to the right, and then I will add a a game news widget and I've got them there and I can reorganize them and I can pull this over so that it's there and I can then move this over to here and I can move this back move this guy back if I wanted and I can also configure these widgets. So this one says news. I can make it say site game news if I want. And I can configure the number of items that it shows. So now it's showing five items. It's got a different name. And I can edit the guild description or any HTML widget right in place. This is in place editing. It allows for much better ideas of how the content works together. And then you click update, and there you are. Uh, again, this has, each widget has different options. There's also the ability to pick where they display. The guild description by default displays on the home page. You can show it other places. If you find that a widget is showing on a page that you don't want, typically all you need to do is configure it and turn off that section. And so that is widget functionality. We go back into preview mode and we're seeing the site how a user would. So the next step is editing links. If you click the edit links button, you're taking immediately the primary navigation customization page. This is on the template and customization tab. It's available on the primary navigation link. And this lets you do all sorts of things with links. So I can edit the forum link. I'm going to make it say forums of doom. Uh, so I want that sort of sort of vibe for my guild. Uh, I'm going to change Rapid Raid to be DKP because that's what we call it. And then I'm not going to have polls uh, right there on the site, so I'm just going to remove that link. And then I want to link to Guild Launch because Guild Launch is awesome. So I'm going to add a link here. And I'm going to choose an iframe embed. You have iframe embeds, regular links, and new window links. So now I go back to the site, and you see that the rapid raid link has changed to DKP. The forums have changed to forums of doom, and I've added a guild launch embed. And that's really all there is to links. You can use link editing to change the language, to, to name things the way you want, and to remove the default links that we've already provided. So the next step is a lightning tutorial for admin. Uh, admin, if you're an admin of guild, is a critical place. Uh, the first tab you'll come across provides an overview uh, on the guild admin page. You can go to your guild settings where you can change your game, change your name, uh, change daylight savings time information, date formats, all sorts of things. And you've got the members tab. This lists the members that are in your guild, their guild ranks, it lets you set guild ranks, it also lists the characters that are in your guild. This is where you also set recruiting, so you can edit your whether you're recruiting or not, you can edit autoresponders for things, you can edit your guild application, you have a basic and an advanced. 
and uh, you can enter recruiting by class info that shows on the recruiting widget. Uh, this is also where you would review pending applications. This is a brand new guild, so there aren't any. And then moving on to the forums, you can add forums, you can add forum categories. You can set the forum permissions here on the left. This is where you would set a, a page to be public or registered, or registered hidden, private, private hidden, moderator only. Uh, it's also where you set forum posting ranks, you can add smileys, you can set up pruning, all sorts of things. On the permissions page, you can set member-only content settings. So if you wanted a part of your site to only be available to members, you can set it here. On the opening page of this area, you can create new permission groups. This is where you can give people access to private forums. You can give them customization rights, admin rights, content rights. Pretty much anything that you need to give to a user other than full moderation and full admin is available on this page by creating a group, adding a user to the group, and then assigning the proper rights to that group using the pages that are available here. Then there's the Rapid Raid tab. This is where you add raid pools, where you can configure those pools so you can set up one EPGP pool and one flat DKP pool. Uh, you can also set raid dates and eligible dates and default main configuration. I'm a little over my five minutes, but we're gonna we're gonna move on through. So here you're on the content tab. The content tab is right now sort of a placeholder for where things other things didn't fit. Uh, one of the most important play pages is the extended site configuration. Uh, extended site configuration is contains things like roster filtering, whether widgets show, how avatars show, how signatures show, and uh, item hover information, as well as the enabling of certain optional content. Uh, in addition, there is the more basic sidebar widgets page available here. Here, this is a, a non-Ajax, non-JavaScript driven widgets page. Uh, if something isn't working on the other side, you can do it here. And the last tab, template customization. This is where you choose the template, edit a template, customize the template. There are a ton of templates available here. There's a ton of customization options, way too much to cover in a quick video. But if you need to add a header, add a background, change how something looks, it is all here. And there's your quick intro to Guild Launch. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And enjoy. If you run into any issues, support at guildlaunch.com. And support.guildlaunch.com. Our support pages are always available at the bottom of your site and the top left of your site. Stop on by if you've got any questions and let us know. Enjoy.